The next morning, just after dawn, I make my way out to rendezvous with the Dow. The captain is keen to get going immediately, so as soon as I'm on board and we can get the sails rigged, we head out to sea. We're off to Zanzibar! Traders have sailed the Indian Ocean in beautiful dows like this one for not just hundreds, but thousands of years. And it feels very special to be making this journey in such historic fashion. The dows cargo, however, is as ordinary as can be. So, uh, what are you guys taking here? We have uh, tomatoes, garotes, potatoes, charcoals. So it's mostly produce you, you bring into the island. They don't yeah, grow yeah. it over there. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Most... So we're going very slow. Is this the pace we go the whole time? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's especially if you have the wind like this, you have to go slowly. So how long will it take to get to Zanzibar? Five or six hours. But all of this depends on how the wind it grows. Five or six hours? Yeah, yeah. That is a long day. Well, we better hope for some wind. Well, it's good that uh, it's not too sunny yet because it's going to get hot, huh? Yeah. Before long, as the sun climbs higher in the sky, the heat does kick in, which helps the wind pick up too. To make the most of it, we have to re-rig the sail. This is tough work, huh? You pull with your whole body weight and it barely moves. That's strong. When you look up at it, it's like, woo! <laughs> With the work done and the wind now fully in our sail, happily, I can just sit back and enjoy the rest of the spectacular ride to Zanzibar. Finally, we see the coastline of Zanzibar in the distance. We're almost there. For me, sailing to Zanzibar has been a really enjoyable end to my Tanzanian adventure. But of course, 150 years ago, this voyage was a tragedy for huge numbers of people. The name Zanzibar sounds fantastically exotic and romantic. But let's not forget that over one and a half million slaves were shipped to Zanzibar on boats like this in the 19th century to be sold at the slave market. That's over one and a half million lives crushed for profit. Zanzibar, of course, is just one of many places in the world that once profited hugely from the selling of slaves. And in any case, today that history is long in the past. For me, stepping ashore will be the end of what's been an amazing Tanzanian journey. Life is tough here, and so are the boats I've traveled on. Starting with the remarkable Liemba on Lake Tanganyika and finishing here on this beautiful, hardworking Dow, this whole trip has been an amazing experience and one that I'll never forget. Thanks for sharing the adventure. <laughs>